First time I ever saw Chloe is at work. And uh, I hear the door open, and I'm talking with one of my friends, colleagues, work colleague. I hear the door open, and I hear a girl's voice, which is very unusual for the place I work in. And I thought that was strange, but I didn't really run out. It didn't matter. Until my colleague says, have you saw Chloe? John's daughter. John's daughter. No, I've never seen her before, but I hear her, so I'm going to go look. So I back out, there's this long hallway, I back out of his office and I kind of pull one of these numbers. And I saw Chloe. She was literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen from 25 feet in an instant. My whole world changed then, honestly. People talk about super high highs and super low lows. And a lot of people think that's where like passion is found in the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. It is so pretty. <laughs> like, please don't cry. Cool. <laughs> Not right now. But you are a just a straight line. You're a flat line. There are really good goods and there are really, you know, actually there are no real lows. We're excited. We're just actually saying we're happy with Jason. But our highest of highs and our lowest of lows are little small dips in what is this flat line. And I think that so many people look to relationships for so much excitement. Oh, he's just a good boy. He fits in with our crowd. Two, three. Hi. Thank you. I'm excited for you. Me too. Are you excited to get rid of me? <laughs> Are you excited Not really. To get rid of me? The mundane with you is such a flat line, and it's so constant, and it is so safe. That is hands down my favorite thing about you. Now, Chloe and Jason, you have been given something wonderful, something life-changing. You have found each other. You deeply love each other, and now you're here to marry each other. Chloe and I started coming to Charleston a while back. Our first date. <laughs> okay, it was our first date. And ever since then, we've always, uh, we've always seemed to find ourselves back here. And I've really grown the same sentiment with her that I really love the place. And to get everybody here that's here tonight and share that experience with you all, um, that's about as good as it gets. So this is really a dream come true. This moment will change you. You'll become better together than you ever could by yourselves. Together you'll take on all of life, all its wonders and joys, as well as its inevitable struggles and challenges. But this doesn't happen where you get in a room where, with your loved ones very often. With so many people so important to you, you think about all the life you've lived, all the interactions you've had, everything that had to come together for this moment right here and for this weekend. And we're so grateful for it and we're so excited about it. It is a unique and most intimate kind of loving that you're called to in marriage. You just let me be who I am. 
just relentlessly. I'm loud and I'm opinionated and you're just like, that's it. I love it. I now pronounce you husband and wife, and I invite you to seal those vows with a kiss. Chloe and I feel extremely grateful. Yeah, cheers for that. We're married.